Ladies and gents, once again, you're not tuned into your new favorite radio program, broadcasting from 314 Maine in downtown Houston, Texas, at the legendary, the historic Natsua. Yeah. If you're wondering, we're not in the zoo, baby. We're here in Natsua in studio at the Patty's Radio Studio, joined by a special guest for the second time. That means two times, two times. This band has joined us here on your new favorite radio program, which is broadcast right now on KPFT 90.1 FM, HD Channel 3 Pacifica Radio. Via the Patty's Radio podcast at pattysradio.podomatic.com. Via the TuneIn app and probably bootlegging cable. However you get it, I'm just glad you're here with us this evening, morning. I don't know you're listening. The important thing you need to know is their third studio album releasing this May 13th. Friday, May 13th. Oh, shit, it is May 13th, isn't it? It is Friday the 13th. No it shit. It is Friday the 13th. No shit. Well, it's all good vibes here, baby. <laughs> because currently joining the Money Man in the studio. It's two members of the super group here out of Houston, Texas, which you can find on Bandcamp at devilkillemoth.bandcamp.com, on Spotify, SoundCloud, Facebook, the Twitter, as the kids say. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined in the studio by Dan and Ryan of Devil Killing Moth. Gentlemen, top of the evening to you. Top of the evening to you. How's it going, man? Thank you for <laughs> We're having too much fun over here. There's going to be animal sounds. There's going to be cat sounds. We love it. We love it. Thank you for joining me here at Natsua. How y'all doing? Oh, we're doing great, man. Doing, okay. doing awesome. We're riding that wave, riding that wave almost there, two days. Yeah. Riding the wave, you are indeed. Y'all have been out here in these streets working hard. You've been pubbing, oh, you've yeah. been promoting. How is yes. that feel? How is this going for you? Oh, it's great. It builds up yeah. the energy. You know? It builds up the energy, keeps us going, keeps us like super motivated. You know? Super performing these songs. We got these we got the album in our hands already. <laughs> yeah, and that's right. And for those who are following the Money Man right now on Snapchat at E A Z Y E R E V, in my hand I'm currently holding the physical copy. The physical copy in my hand of your newest release, A Night in the Life of. Gentlemen, you're looking at it right now. Oh, Tell me yeah. how does it feel to see a black man oh. holding your album? <laughs> Not a black man, but me holding I mean, your album it in hand. pretty fucking good. I mean, excuse the French. But, uh, no, fuck it. We're going to curse awesome. or edit it. It's pretty fucking awesome. Yes. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Yes. It's beautiful, great. beautiful. Now, if I'm correct, the last time you all were here, we had, I guess we were working. It was a working version or a demo. Working progress. It was working. The album yeah, was a work yeah. in progress. Now, yeah. it's done. A night in the life of. Yes. Tell yes. me about it. Finalized. For, well, night in the life of. We've been working on the sound for two years, so we've been put a, playing this a lot, a lot of the songs live in different versions and working it, and like, I mean, just, just in writing the songs, we put a lot of ourselves in it, and it turned into, like, it, it really is, if you listen to the album, it's like a night in the life of hanging out with us, you know, going out and, and performing or listening to the band, you know, it's how, going out and having a good time. It just kind of captured captured a night in life of you know a Houstonian you know. Oh yeah, we pretty much like <laughs> slutted ourselves slutted ourselves out for many many years, and so this just encompasses everything that we put together for the last like five years, growing this band, becoming a five piece, playing every night, three times a night, every weekend, yeah. and then now having here, this, this tangible version of it because a lot of people haven't seen uh, for people unfamiliar with the band like they. You know, we, we this five piece has been playing live for two years, but there's been nothing recorded being put out by us. Yeah. So it's like a great, great feeling that we can actually, you know, people can go online and hear a version of us that we're playing it live right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, and for those that don't know, oh yeah. Uh, Dan, you're gonna you're gonna strum out a little something for us here in studio, Patty's radio. But before we do that, like I said, the last time you all were here with the Money Man in the studio, we had like, we had a kind of work in progress version. So oh yeah, yeah. Now, oh, Mayan yeah. Boots has been out there for a little bit. Yes, uh, I yes. saw that hidden somewhere online as your <laughs> second single, Chewy Kablooey. Tell us about that. Oh yeah, well, che Chewy Kablooey is one of those. Shout out to Chewy. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Man. Yeah, it, 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 it's another, you know, it, it's in that, that, that whole theme of like a nine alive of and Chewy's a homie of ours. And uh, this song like came right towards the end, right before we hit the studio. This song kind of popped up and happened and kind of created itself. So it was like, we have to include this song in the album, even though we haven't really worked it that well. You know, like, just, just go ahead and go in the studio and play it. And like, it, it was one of those really fun tunes in the studio. We were definitely making different variations of the song. Oh, it yeah. came out to be Chewy Kablooey, full impact. And it was just like such a beautiful thing when we all figured it out. Like, that, these are the words and these are the meanings behind it. And so it's a very impactful song for us. Like, it's a beautiful like ballad in a way just as, a, as a mantra to this our, uh, a really good friend of ours that has, have really like you know brought a night in the life of into DKM yeah. which we we love to, to have him like kind of emulated in this song 
We're in here with two members of DKM. And if you're wondering, well, where's the rest of the group, money? Well, listen, they're working hard. They got an album to drop on Friday. So I believe some of the other yeah, we got that. Yeah, we got yeah, that. some of the other members, I believe they're out promoting the album right now, right? Yes, definitely, definitely. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna uh, we might as well jump to some music while we're sitting here do all this talking. Let's let them hear if they've never heard DKM Devil Kill Em All for the first time. Let's give them a little preview of this. So it is my privilege to bring you. It's their privilege, it's our privilege. Hey, we're all privileged people here. We all having a great time here. A Night in the Life of uh, releases May 13th. But before that, ladies and gentlemen, this is Devil Killing Mob here on Patty's Radio with Oscar. Temporary fix ain't what I'm after. Now we're lying on the floor like we're loving the disease. You see, there's no more thank yous, no more pleasing on this physics that you've flown. But through my mind with these, you see the beat, these emotional rest falls on the dresses. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to. Avoid disaster A temporary fix Ain't what I'm after Sorry but I'm gonna have to Tell you Oscar That's way too much Then I have to offer We're too much and I have to offer I know I'm 
the poisons that I feel Cause I know, I know, I know, I know Cause I know Off their newest release that will drop May 13th. Yes, yes. In studio here, not so on Patty's radio. That was Ryan and Dan of Devil Killing Mob with their song Oscar. That was fucking dope. Uh, thank you, thank you. He's over there having a the ball with the tambourine and shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was fantastic. Uh, that was one of, what, I believe three tracks you're going to hear from this group join us right now in studio anticipation like we said and not only their album releasing but y'all have a pretty big uh show going on friday uh oh, yeah, album release yeah, party yeah. don't you oh yeah it's definitely an event it's an event it's not not just a show it's an event we're gonna have a photo booth we're gonna have some laser lights out there we're gonna have some black cassidy i don't know if he did it on instagram <laughs> doing a painting of a devil killing moth that he that he you know, created for us for our t-shirts and for our album it's gonna be a beautiful thing you know to come out and watch him you know do his artistic skills on um, it we have some great bands coming out we have only beast which has been like oh yeah an hour and a half here in Houston. all right then we have linear downfall which is such a national act they've shout out to nashville yeah so they're nashville. such an experimental band who have just been on the good graces of just so many fucking uh you know great festivals and they've been playing with Flaming Lips and they've done some, some great work and then we have Rex Hudson which is here local act that's in Wonky Power shout out to Wonky Power. Wonky Power shout out to Wonky Power Rex Hudson you know is just a is a is a is a fantastic fucking dude like shout out to him you know I'm glad that he's able to you know do this show with us because it was a it was definitely meaningful for him to come out and play for yeah and, uh, we're really happy with the lineup like we, yeah, we, we yeah. felt we really crafted it well and then we, we didn't want, you know, we, we had that option. You know, everyone's like, oh, put six bands in there, you know. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 and we're like, no, let, let's give it these four acts, you know, out-of-town act and a couple of locals because we grew up with, you know, we, we did a lot of shows with Only Beast. That's and then, what's up. And then, like, yeah, we're, like yeah. Ryan was saying, like, yeah, Rex yeah, Hudson, man, man he, he's been, you know. Rex Hudson, man. We've been jamming him, yeah, man. Like, man. just. Only Beast, man. <laughs> yeah. Rex Hudson, man. Clear down. But that's what's up. Like, this is your big, this is your big night. This is the night y'all have been working for. Yeah, yeah, definitely, and it's great to have a something old, something new, you know. And whole, you got to pick yeah, the that you stuff. want on there. Like, yeah. this is the night y'all have been working for. Like, this is the night that uh, all our listeners, I know the ones that are around the globe listening right now on KPFC 90.1 FM, H Channel 3, via the Pass Radio Podcast, TuneIn app, and all those other things I can plug. Those who may not live in Texas or in the city, they can't make it out. But for those that are in the city who have been entrenched with y'all's music for so long, this is the night to come out and show y'all love. Yeah. This is what y'all been waiting for, y'all been working on for so long. So this is amazing. And then for those that don't know what I'm talking about, it's going down at what, uh, 1120 Naylor at uh, Walters downtown. Yes. May 13th. This is? Opens at 8, door band starts at 9. You know, come out and support all the local music. Boombox Tacos gonna oh, be there. <laughs> we got some food. You don't have to leave your brother. And this is all for a night like, in the life of the album life release. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we gotta give a big thank you, like I said, to uh, Big Heart Sound big Heart for Sound, uh, what the whole show on Friday and just yeah, for help man. getting y'all back in studio here they've with the money. Man. This stuff together. They've been helping out so much. You know, shout out to. You know, Jose and Mary and Jonathan and Niku for just, Woo. you know, putting together this awesome community of artists and backing us for so much. They've been doing so much work with us and we're so proud of them. And, you know, just want to continue working with them. Any band in Houston that's listening to this right now, you better check out Big Heart Sound because they only do definitely justice is. from y'all. Because they will, they will definitely promote and show you love, one-on-one -on -one love. You know anything that you want to put on because they are up and coming and they are all themselves amazing acts themselves. Jose is in Jose, Jonathan is in fucking Pitter Patter, Niku, one of the fucking best hip hop artists around, and you know they just they just show so much love and they they really care and are very true to like the sound that is coming out of Houston and they yeah. only want to do. They truly, truly earned that name, you know, Big Heart Sound. They're, they are, they, you know, it is a co-op. It really is. They, they treat it like a co-op because they involve the man so much in the process. Of, uh, 
areas where we put so much effort into us and like, you know, communicating with her has been, you know, so awesome, you know, because she puts so much time and like, you know, we just love her to death. Like we did you know, some some shows with her yesterday at K True and like she just she just puts a great show together, you know. She does this all she does it all a very good job, you know. Just shout out to Big Heart Sounds. We love you so much and thank you so much for putting this show together. Yeah, for and if I have it correctly, I believe it's bigheartsound.com is where you can find them. I'll check the web address for things, but I believe it's big heart B I G heartsound.com. And with that, now we talked about what's going forward and coming up on Friday. Let's go back a little bit. It's like I said, y'all joined the Money Man here in the studio a little while back. And we were just at the crux is pretty much y'all were getting close, not really going with the album. You're not really done. You're just waiting. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's done. Tell me what that was like working on this for about what, two years. It's a couple of years, yeah. Finally getting it together and just like that whole process as a band, you know, the, the growing together, like, what was that like? Did y'all fight? Like, Jesus Christ, I couldn't imagine. <laughs> we created these songs over the last two years. We finally went in the studio last year, about the same time last year, to really put down the tracks and to really work with Joe Almachek. Shout out to Joe Almachek with RBI Studio. Yeah. He mixed and mastered and put so many hours and time into this, and we just much love to him. You know, he's got... He's, he's such a great ear. He's a sound guy from Rudyard's, and he does such an amazing job. And we've worked with him for a while. He, you know, and uh, we we've been in this. We've been in the working of this album for a year with him. And I think the last time we were here it was probably like seven months, six months into the to that yeah. to this to this album. And we were just. Well, we, you know, back then we didn't know how deep we were into the album because it just kept prolonging itself. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, yeah, and, and there's so we, we learned so much about patience at that point because we wanted to go forward with so many things, but we had to have that album finished. And we were, you know, there, there's points where we we're just like, you know, we got to get it finished, go in the studio, and then some other issue would come up. You know, we go off on tangents, you know, but it, but it's great that like it, it all came together at the end, and there was there was this point where we hit, we were like, hey man, everything's coming together good. You know, we're almost at the mastering phase. We met us right before that, so we're, we're a little crazy. We were kind of losing it because we're like, whoa, we're not there yet. Well, I mean, how much could have, like, how much could y'all, like, bumped heads about? You have what? I believe it's what, six tracks on the album, so yeah. Yeah. how much fighting went into putting the six tracks on? But, Finding us all together in the same room because what would happen is, you know, Dan and Anton would go in the studio and try and mix, and then they'd come yeah. out on the mix, and we'd be like, me and Dunaway and Hector would have issues with it. So it really came yeah. down to if we were all in the studio at the same time, we could all agree on. Something. And for those wondering, like I said, we're joining the studio with Ryan and Dan, but we're missing Anton, and Chris, and Hector. Yeah, the five. It's a five piece. So there was this balance in the studio where those guys would go in, and I'd be out of town, or everyone would be working, and you know, it'd be like, all right, you know, the drums are good now, or the bass is good or the guitar and vocals are great but then you know we hear it the other the other part of us would hear it and be like wait a second now there's missing something and you know it was, yeah. it, was it, it became down to like very perfectionist type of style where we're like yeah it's trying to include everybody's opinion in there and everybody's kind of like take on the song and, and it, it, we learned a lot from each other trying to focus together like oh this is what you think the song should sound like this is what i think and like, everything perfect for each of our yeah very difficult yeah. i would imagine we all had an idea of you know what we wanted to hear from it and besides yeah. from what other what someone else was okay with. and we, we no. couldn't we couldn't sign off on the album until everybody agreed on that point yeah. and that, that was like a big thing about the night in life because this album was really about all of us so like we want everybody to, to be 100% behind it and like, okay, yeah, finish. Yeah. And in the last time we were here, we weren't there yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. We were still months away from like, we didn't realize it then. But we were yeah. still six months away from yeah. finding that out. Right. We went to another studio to master it and it didn't work out. Yeah, we left we the city, went to Austin. We left the city and went to uh, a complete other, another mixing, mastering guy in Austin. And uh, didn't work out, and we had to come back. And none <laughs> of us were happy with what, yeah. what it sounded like. And of course, you know, Joe just did a fabulous job as finishing the product and really making it what it is right now. So we were all just happy to finally be done with it. Because there, there are definitely issues in the song that we could still change. Like, we still look at that album and be like, yeah, okay, <laughs> this could possibly change. I'm content change. with that. Like, it. Still <laughs> yeah, we. That. Yeah. Well, that, that, I think that's an. That, it's like, all right, no. Yeah. We need done we need to like finally agree on it and it's it's actually come to the point where it's like yeah this is the best 
you know sound that we can create and put together and all agree on yeah. otherwise we're just really like wasting time and picking things out that really don't matter you know like getting rid of static and getting rid of like the grit of it but sometimes that's something that you want out of a live album because yeah. we went in that studio and played it all live we didn't like cut tracks specifically like you play guitar you play drums you play this and we'll match mash it all together we played it in the studio take for take you know and some of the songs it only took us like one take to do two takes to do three takes to do and some of them took longer than that but i mean that was how much we focused on this album how much we put time into it over the last two years to go in that studio and realize like you know we've been practicing for years a year on this album spent months on this album like let's go yeah. in the studio and really just kill it and that's what we did and then it came down to the mixing and mastering and that's what really like okay these are the things that we are wanting to fix and the, you know it came out perfect well we're gonna go and we're gonna talk more about a night in life uh, because i heard that was a clever way y'all came about the name for that but we're gonna go back you're gonna play a track off uh your previous release yeah, once i used this dream in a minute but before we do that i want to ask because like you said it took a process to get here making the last album once i used to dream between that and this, y'all's process as a band, you said like it took a while for everybody to agree on the sound. Yeah. In comparison, I guess you all have grown together as a band. You can see how you've all matured, right? Because yeah. one project to the next, this being the longest, y'all probably taken. How does it feel compared to once I used to dream? Or is there any comparison at all? It's me, Dan, and Anton. We didn't have bass or or the djembe. And uh, Once I Used to Dream was a really cool, you know, time to record because Anton and Dan have been a band for like 10 years prior to what I joined. I joined maybe seven years into their whole project. Yeah, and, uh, they had a, know, a big catalog yeah, when we met Ryan. Yeah, when I got together with them, it was more of a... It wasn't more of like we're creating new songs. It was more of a of a of a facelift of the songs they've already created and yeah. an like idea of what their songs could be. And when we went in the studio, I mean, we practiced for months on that and went in and killed it in a day. And you know, just were like, all right, this is our song, this is our album. Yeah, I mean, one day go in there and record it all. all. We we really in a weekend we had the album done, mixed, and how we wanted it to in a way like that's we didn't if we had time honestly like we had today i think that things would have changed because we still play those songs right now and, and uh you know we play them completely different from the album which is funny about that album is when we <laughs> made that album I, like three days after we did it and we recorded it and we had it in our hands they changed like a week later they were completely different the, the time signatures changed the way we like sang the songs like everything changed about it but yeah we haven't developed as much as a band and then adding the djembe and bass kind of like this album total contrast it's like took months in the studio kind of uh did a little more nitpicking you know about like just the last album was just like oh let's just play it naturally and that's it this one we kind of like as I said before, we're trying to get a certain sound, and everybody had their idea of what the sound would be. And do in a five-piece band, you gotta have like everyone's take on it. And when yeah, you, definitely. When you have such a big group, you kind of have to like learn by each other's ear and what style they play, and really yeah. like kind of encompass that. We, and we so. reach that level of trust with each other and, and respect that we're like, oh, this guy's a great bass player. I better listen to his opinion. And well, this oh, he's a great, great drummer. Player. Player. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, Style, yeah, maybe they have some input and keeping our minds open to each other. Yeah. Well, that's something to look forward to, ladies and gentlemen. You're getting probably the best, I would say, the best version of DKM probably to this date. <laughs> and I don't yeah, feel like the album's gonna change between. I don't think the album's gonna change between now and Friday unless you no, boys no, go no, back no. into the studio. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna get the full oh, frontal awesome. experience. Completely play no for no. <laughs> <laughs> it's all energy, you know. When you're in front of a crowd and you, you might put down an album, you might put down what you played at that immediate point. But for me, it's like, you know, when you feel a certain type of energy, it's all different. It's all changing. Yeah. You know, we're I, all... I think it's something we share. It, as artists, we feel like a record to us is just like capturing a moment. Yeah. And it's totally. a, a moment of an ever changing song, an ever changing set, an ever changing emotion. And some songs really do start off sad and they end up happy, and some, you know, vice versa. And the, you know, there's a lot of growth in, in, as an artist. It, it, it's kind of funny it's how we, we put all the focus on the, the album version, but like there's always, 
you know, before and after, there's always these changes coming about. Yeah. Well, with that, ladies and gentlemen, let's get some of that energy and let's feel some of these songs because right now in studio, joined by Ryan and Dan with their release, A Night in the Life of, coming May 13th. The album release party, then the whole goddamn spectrum of everything that you're gonna get from DKM is happening this Friday at Walters Downtown, 1120 Naylor, right here in Houston, Texas. Uh, pre sale tickets are 7, 10 at the door. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, get some of this energy from DKM. About to play uh, Once I Used to Dream off the album called Once I Used to Dream, which you can check out right now at their band camp, devilkillingmoth.bandcamp.com. It's on Spotify, it's wherever you have streaming services, ladies and gentlemen. You're getting out the way. This is DKM, Devil Killing Them Off, but once I used to dream on this special edition of Patty's Radio. Google Take that shit. Those men lies and now the you See you used to be a little bit more than that You used to do a little bit more than dream I know your life changed without me Maybe we can do a little more than hope Maybe we can turn around and learn to go no, you know, we know we're starting to show Cause I've been Searching for someone My friends They are mine
with a special stripped down version of their hit single, Once I Used to Dream. That was Ryan and Dan of the super group Devil Killing Them Off. That was the cat noises. And the cat noises. Ryan, Dan, <laughs> and our neighborhood cat joined us here in studio at Natsua on this special yes, yes. edition of your new favorite radio program, Pat is Radio. We're joined by two of the five members of Devil Killing Brew. Oh, Devil Killing Moth. That Devil, was the first. Devil Killing Brew, I think that's. Devil <laughs> Killing Brew. Leave that in, Wilson. Name. That was the first botch of the night. That promo that y'all need one. Come on. Devil Killing Brew. Devil Killing Brew oh, in no. anticipation of their uh, upcoming <laughs> album, A Night in the Life of These Nuts, which you can check out. Oh, I said the wrong name. A Night in the Life of. <laughs> Which is oh, dropping okay. May 13th. So there's some liminal D's nuts in there. We'll get to that soon. <laughs> but uh, with the upcoming show this Friday, May 13th. Double, we need a double killing stout. That's what we need. All those, ladies and gentlemen. Starbucks? Starbucks? We'll be back with you in a second on a special edition of Patty's Radio. We got a one more song, another exclusive off the latest release, A Night in the Life Of, yes. which you can check out once again May 13th. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back right here on Patty's Radio. This mic stand I had in front of me was useless. I'm, I'm not even using this at all. If you're wondering what's going on, well, I'm talking to Ryan Dan, two members of Devil Killing Moth right here in studio on Patty's Radio. They're back for the second time. Uh, they came back around, as Lil Wayne would say. In my hand, I'm holding the newest release of Devil Killing Moth, which you can't get yet, depending on when you're listening. But say this is after May 13th, then won't you run to Bandcamp or Spotify or iTunes, wherever you find music, and get a night in the life of by Devil Killing Moth. Now, before I let you go, you're gonna play one more song off the album. But before we do that, you gotta talk about the upcoming show and everybody involved. But before you do that, now I don't want to get you all in trouble, same as how you have others in the band. But if you had to pick a favorite off this uh, new release, now I have one of my favorite songs. Favorite. Song of no, yeah, no, that's right. <laughs> Tell me who your favorite member in the band. Is. Let's let's get this conversation Myself. going on at this radio. <laughs> I'm my <favorite> <laughs> Oh, yeah, Ryan. This is breaking down already. This is how it starts. Ryan, if you had to guess or say one of your favorite songs off this album, um, throughout Journey or whatever. Say, I'm, I'm conflicted because I would have to say Oscar. Honestly, Number two? Okay. I know it. Fuck Oscar. All right, here we go. I would have to say Trail of Tears. Number six it's for all those keeping track at home. Trail of Tears. It's a nine-minute song, and it's such a glorious, epic journey of kind of like everything that encompasses this whole album because it's it starts off on this heavy you know beat that just you know it's kind of our style that and then all of a sudden it changes to this super quick super fast like you know race against our music that we're catching up with and it closes on a slower beat that it is just it's just an awesome song it's such an epic ballad and like that's one of my favorite songs to play it's the hardest song for me to play it's just it's nine minutes long but uh, yeah, it's one of my favorites, I have to say. All right, Dan, what about you? Uh, I'm kind of the same with him, just because it, 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 it's, such, <laughs> it's such an epic song that, that we were able to get together. Like, um, there was a lot of changes in it, and, and really, I, it was a song that we had been working on for a while, Anton and I, when we were a two-piece. So it's like, it's, we had this song for years, and then we, we, we presented it to the band, rest of the band, but this lineup, you know, it really came together. And it, and it really got, you know, great, great push behind it. Great, uh, you know, great input from their their perspective of it. And the song just kind of grew together. And it was one of those where like it kept growing and growing. And we're like, okay, it's like 10, 10 minutes. That's fine. Let's just record it like that. Let's not try to like edit it for okay, the recording. Song too? Okay. Yeah, it's definitely. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. Definitely yeah. is because because I work, I work, yeah. And, oh, and, I, and and Ryan and I early on we had worked some lyrics together and it was a song that we really wanted to play but we just didn't have the the it right lineup to get, get it out yeah. It yeah it could have been it could have <laughs> been a play so this is going to be fun on friday at your album release show which we're about to talk about when you have rex hudson who's right here at his age and we already gave a shout out to walking yeah. power but if you didn't know you can check out rex, uh, rex hudson right now at his band camp at the second box tonight rex hudson.bandcamp.com r-e-x H-U-D-S-O-N.bandcamp.com. We also have Linear Downfall on the bill from Nashville, Tennessee. Check them out at LinearDownfall.com. L-I-N-E-A-R-Downfall.com. Not a spelling bee. It's, it's yeah. ridiculous. And then we also have Only Beats. They're also out of this H. You can check them out on Twitter and Instagram at We Are Only Beats. That's We Are Only Beats on Twitter and Instagram. We got a full bill for Friday. This is great. 
We got a shout out to some of our sponsors right now. Yeah, go ahead. Handle we, your business. Uh, go ahead. You know, we've been working with a lot of Big Heart Sounds. We shout out a lot of love to Big Heart Sounds, but we got a shout out to Rad Delivery Service. Um, Heist Guitar yeah, Tech. Heist Guitar Tech, who's providing some of the lights. We got a shout out to Donkey Paul, Randy Wharton, who's All right. like, we're magic with our t-shirts right now black cassidy who's done a lot of our artwork he's done all of our artwork all pretty right. much. Yeah. we got a shout out to joseph kentley nikki who's done our whole album concept design which has been great and we got a shout out to who else we got oh, who else we got kpft for helping us get the word out man really i, I love this community man. radio like, station gotta love these guys like they're doing big things in houston like god damn think they're god local act <laughs> Supporting local music, man. That's what you gotta love. Trey Forgotten. Trey Shout out Jay Forgotten. Trey Forgotten. We got buttons. We got lighters. Y'all got swag everywhere. This is ridiculous. We got bumper stickers. We got shirts. We got kisses. We got. You know, y'all are starting to make people think that y'all are a real legit band. I don't. Motorboat. Motorboat band. Like everybody. Whatever it takes to get you all out to the show. The album release on Friday. They'll motorboat you. They'll make cat sounds. They'll do whatever we gotta do. Well, we make out booth. We got a photo booth. You know, Mary's providing that. Yeah, shout out to you know everyone. Houston, love you all. They love you. We love you, and we also love you for coming in. Like I said, for joining me on the special edition of Patty's Radio for the second time. We had to get y'all in to get this done before the album releases, May 13th. So, you already heard Oscar. That's the second song on the album. It's literally number two. We heard Once I Used to Dream. Number two. And now you're about to get the first single off a night in the life of number three. Number three. For Dan, thank you, sir, for joining us in studio. Ryan, thank you for playing the tambourine, making cat noises. We've had a great time. Once again, the band is Devil Killing Mob. Check them out all over social media, Facebook, SoundCloud, Spotify, on Twitter and Instagram, uh, devilkillingmob.bandcamp.com, on iTunes. Run to your Google. Just do that. Just type in the name Devil Killing Mob. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you Friday at Walters Downtown, 1120 Naylor here in Houston, Texas. For the money man, for Wilson and the other studio, or Ilson, as he's affectionately known. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Brown Velvet. Brown Velvet. Yeah. We got, we got, hey, look at he's like smiling. <laughs> oh, oh, Brown Velvet. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Houston coming together. But for KPFT and Easy Money, Pacifica Radio, with their album release on May 13th, The Night in the Life of. For Ryan and Dan, this is Devil Kill Him Off leaving you with Mind Boots right here on your new favorite radio program, Pat is Radio. Got something I want to say to you. I hope you tell nobody else But I know you well It's been a while and I've been confused Deep inside I want you to know there was something that I felt You were someone that I felt Wow, wow, wow Style. Now you got your mind, but your heart, your life changed. Now you got that that I you know there's no one else to blame. Now you got that rhythm in your step. You're never scared. Now you know job and boot as well. And you wear it well. Now I hope you live forever. Oh, oh, oh. So talk behind your back because we all know you is love And everybody wants love Wow, wow It's been a while I said wow, wow It really changed your style Now you got your mind, boot your heart your life changed, now you got that good eye. You know there's no one else to blame. Now you got that rhythm in your step. You're never scared, now you know. Jotting boot as well. 
Got that that I you know there's no one else to blame. Now you got that rhythm in your step. You're never scared. Now you know dropping boot as well. You ever well. I hope you live forever. Wow, wow. I hope you live Thank you. Thank you.